Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I got another topic, but it's once again about the blooper himself, Sonic the Flipping Hedgehog. Over my years of playing Sonic video games, genuinely loving Sonic, I've come to the complete and utter decision that if I'm going to love this character, I'm going to have to put him in something that will make him just as equally cool as I think he is. And the only way to do that is I'm going to have to put him in a battle. What if in Sonic's universe, he ran into someone named Thanos? Yeah, I've always kind of pondered on this. I like putting Sonic characters in really bad situations, especially ones that really don't make much sense ever since I've seen Super Mario Bros. Z. Really good show. You guys should go watch that. It's on YouTube. It's free. Go watch that. But the point is, is I've always liked putting Sonic characters in tough situations ever since that. So now I'm asking the question, if could Sonic stop Thanos before he collected all of the Infinity Stones? And I'm talking about stopping him from doing that. Because frankly speaking, even though Sonic would have the Chaos Symbols in this scenario, I really think Super Sonic video game version is gonna be capable of stopping him from quote unquote killing him or erasing him from existence. Unless you think Super Sonic video game is on the level of Super Sonic's Archie Sonic form or something around that level, I don't really think he could stop him from doing such a thing. Even Hypersonic is not capable of doing something that crazy as he is not stated to be capable of doing anything like that. The only thing we see these forms do in game, obviously, is destroy robots by running directly into them and not getting pretty much affected by anything but getting crushed, you know, dying in pits and so on and so forth. So technically there really isn't anything that can stop them, but it doesn't mean they can't be erased from reality as they don't really have any counters to it. Now, frankly speaking, I know that Sonic has fought time beings and whatnot what not, if you want to use modern games, but I want to make this very clear to you. I'm not going to be using modern games in this like scenario. This is basically just classic Sonic powers versus stopping Thanos from awakening the Infinity Stones. Yeah, I know, that sounds kind of hard to believe because that doesn't really sound that fair, but it is fair. Because Sonic is much stronger than you probably already believe him to be if you did think he was weaker or maybe he's, you know, just as strong as you thought if you did know how strong he is. Either way, this would like take place in Sonic's own universe as Thanos would clearly come to his universe because there's no reason for him to go to Marvel. It would just make a bunch of more problems and I don't think we really need that to happen. So let's get on with the video. If Thanos made it to Sonic's universe since there's really Infinity Stones, it would be relatively easy for him to actually discover them, or, well, how do I put this? It would be much easier for him to find them than it would be anything else. Now, a lot of people might say, well, there's a lot of different things in Sonic, for example, like the Soul Emeralds and the Chaos Emeralds, and you might be saying to yourself, well, if they have anything close to the same amount of energy as Infinity Stones, he might get them confused and take them. Well, like I already said, the Soul Emeralds are, I'm just gonna pretend like they don't exist. The Chaos Emeralds are on Sonic already, so he might end up finding Sonic, but that's kind of the point of where I'm trying to go with this anyways. And if anything, he's gonna more or less be capable of finding Infinity Stones very easy. Now, in most cases, I would say Sonic would intervene before he got them, but there's actually a couple of different ways to go down, so I'm gonna go into the first scenario. First scenario is, Sonic never figures out that he's even looking for those and does because A, Sonic's not gonna know what those are. And he's not like he's smart enough to like know stuff. Even if, you know, they exist in his universe, he's not smart enough to figure that out. Knuckles might know that, but it's just going off the video game lore and just trying to guess considering he knows what the master was. And maybe the master will tell him, maybe he can tell Sonic that somebody's looking for these things in our universe called the Infinity Stones and maybe go stop him but quote unquote i'm pretty sure that that wouldn't have anything to do with this and that sonic genuinely would probably not figure out that he's going to go and get the infinity stones it's just kind of how i'm thinking about this it just probably wouldn't happen and since i don't really think it'd be that hard for him to find them i don't really think in a relative scenario there isn't really too many scenarios sonic actually would stop him from collecting the infinity stones unless you go with scenario b Let's say that Thanos makes it onto planet Earth before he like starts searching for them. 
Let's say he runs into Sonic due to the chaos emeralds, chaos energy, or chaos magic, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Say that happens, and then he tells him about his plan. Some way, so forth. He's like, these are the chaos emeralds, not the infinity stones. And also, really fair stuff at this point. Then let's fight Sonic. So I'm pretty sure what you're following here is, if he doesn't go to Earth first, Sonic more or less probably is going to lose because I'm not really too high in on him stopping the reality stones and quote unquote all this other stuff. But in a second scenario, before he gets any of the stones, technically he has a chance of winning that because boost or amp or anything like that on Thanos and he actually has a pretty good chance of beating him in supersonic form as far as relative to the other. Now, Thanos in his space form is quite frankly ridiculous. He can lift really large buildings, quote unquote, uh, fight Avenger, Avengers like Captain America, Iron Man, with really advanced suits and whatnot. So yeah, Thanos is not some weakling, he's not some trash, that can be just bothered by little things. So yeah, Thanos is definitely not some weakling. That's definitely sure. But the point is, is Supersonic will probably be his best battle when he's in this state. Now, in terms of who would probably win this, you have to look at a couple of things. You have to look at the fact that, honestly, could Thanos beat Sonic before he goes Supersonic? Or B, could Supersonic beat Thanos in the first place? I guess Supersonic strong enough to beat Thanos. If you go by video game logic, then technically he is, but if you don't, then he's not, because if you say that he can destroy anything by touching him, then well, yeah, Thanos is dead. But if you follow the logic of the video games, well, that's just a video game, and that's just power up. So this not leads only two different paths that can be done in this fight. Either the camp symbols are very important, or they're not. Now, wait a minute. What about if Sonic uses the power to become hypersonic with that changes battle in any shape or form? Well, yes, actually, a lot. In fact, the thing hypersonic, if it's capable of defeating him, because hypersonic, hypersonic actually has feats on that level, like fighting Eggman with the power of the Mass Stand rule, or quote unquote, in his strongest robot, which is very strong enough to cause him to use hypersonic. They fight in space, they move through space, he destroys it. It's really strong. It's powered by the Death Egg, which is a very powerful machine, as it is quote unquote used by Eggman, that he wants to use it to destroy everything and turn all the animals into robots. It's quote unquote, you know, his main goal and plans. So yes, I do think that that would technically be stronger than Thanos, because it's using the Master Emerald's power. And the Master Emerald is very strong. It's been shown for multiple times about multiple series and multiple things. And the Master Emerald's power isn't gonna change depending on video game to show or whatever the heck you wanna call it. So yeah, that's gonna be a constant always. So as far as that's concerned, I think it's more than fair to say that Hypersonic would beat base Thanos with no powers or no anything. So yes, in that regard, yes, I do think Sonic has more than a good chance to win that. But when you talk about supersonic, it's a little bit more tricky because supersonic's feats aren't as good as hypersonics. They're like mid. Supersonics. Because as hypersonic for giant robots, supersonic did not do that. Now, if you want to say supersonic did that, then you can say that. But the problem is, is that that depends on what you did in the game. If you never got the, you know, the other emeralds, the super emeralds, then yeah, technically supersonic did beat them. But the point is, it, it's not that if you lose the true ending. The true ending is him using hypersonic, so that's the actual basis for what he's using to fight. So by default, technically, supersonic did not do that. So it's actually really tricky. The only thing supersonic has done is fight Eggman's robot. And then he didn't even do that, actually. That was based on it, as far as canon is concerned. And he used supersonic to get to back to Earth. So yeah, technically, supersonic did not even fight that thing. So yeah, as far as we've seen, it's pretty evident that Super Sonic has done a lot, but he hasn't done that much in the show. So basically, uh, I said show the game, the game. So yeah, I can't really give him feats that he does not have. So basically Super Sonic, he's just destroying things on touch. So he doesn't really have that many strength feats, video game classic style. So because of that reasoning, I'm going to say that it is a draw between the two of them. And if Sonic just so happens that I have Chaos Emeralds, I'm just gonna make this very clear in the scenario. Thanos kind of just destroys him. His base form sucks. He can be beaten by robots in his base form, according to video games, as obviously you can see little bullets, laser beams, and so on and so forth. And if you look at the CD games, he can be destroyed by a lot of different stuff. So yeah, Sonic is definitely not 
that great in his base, especially compared to Thanos. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video because that's about all the different scenarios we have to cover in terms of what would happen. And yes, just to clarify something, I do think if Thanos would have went and got the Infinity Stones first, the Sonic would stand no chance in his classic form. Now, if you wanna see me do this video, like talk about it with like maybe him in like classic or what well, not classic with modern, then yeah, that'd be a lot more interesting personally. But I wanna do the classic because I just like classic Sonic a whole lot more. I know a lot more about him. Makes a lot more sense. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Shout out to Regular Show once again for carrying the channel. And deuces, I'll catch you on the next one.